what is going on everyone Porsniff here and today I wanted to go ahead and talk about building in Terraria. Now for those of you that oddly enough don't know I do a lot of building in my channel you guys probably seen uh, a video or two of mine if you're here hopefully if not do check out my other stuff but it's pretty amazing what you can do in Terraria in terms of building. So you guys will probably notice in the background a couple of my builds and a couple of things that I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys and talk about a little bit. So let's just go ahead and say that this video is going to be me talking about all the possibilities of building and what you can actually do in Terraria in terms of building. Be it materials, uh, be it from structures and just overall your imagination. So guys... Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is my expert world. This is the world where it all started from, which was a really big regret of mine actually, because since this is an expert, the amount of times I died here was just uh, breathtaking pretty much. I, I would die like five, six times per build. And that would include me having to walk all the way back and all of that. So most of these are either really early builds for my videos most of these i could actually improve now make them look a ton better and some of these are just inspired builds meaning uh, for example if you see the asian temple or i know it's not called asian temple guys i, I don't know the name uh and you guys do remind me every single time not to call it asian temple but uh, that's not actually built by me that's just something i copied by somebody else again completely forgot who made it uh, but yeah so the possibilities of Terraria in terms of building is just huge. Uh, little to few games give you this many options and this many things to work with in terms of building. Not only do you have all of the normal blocks that you can get from crafting or just overall discovering, you can also make the same type of block into multiple blocks. So for example, you could get stone, make it to gray brick, make it to stone slabs, and then you could also paint these and there's tons of paint. Not only that, but a single paint could be used uh, with different tones. So you have red, deep red, and so on to make the color look either lighter, darker, or more like the stone. So that means you can pretty much use the texture of what you do have, uh, but with a different color. Here you guys can go ahead and see on this tower, I use pretty much those dynasty tiles, either the blue or the red ones, but I paint it with white. Now, for those of you, again, that are not really into building, I know a huge amount of you guys honestly just don't care about building at all, but you can improve a ton over time with building. It's pretty much what everybody says, practice does make perfect, and painting is one of those features that Terraria does provide for you to make the place a lot better. I know a lot of games have different ways uh, of doing this, like they have colored rule on Minecraft, or... Uh, other things on other games pretty much but being able to paint a block such as wood or stone uh, a different color really does make the game just immense so not only do you have a huge variety of blocks to work with you can also go ahead and paint those blocks different colors so this is pretty much one of my earlier houses that I did upgrade. It didn't look like this in the beginning. I did change it. Honestly, I don't like the way it looks now. But yeah, not only do you have the option to make these awesome and colorful builds, you also have a lot of wiring and things that give that extra touch to your build. Like here, when I click this switch, I go ahead and turn on rockets. There's just so many things you can do in the game that a lot of people just don't know about here you guys can see me hopping around this balloon and that's not me jumping that's actually a bouncing balloon it's a feature in the block that actually allows me to do this so we went ahead and talked about paint a variety of blocks that different blocks can do different things for example a cloudy block might not do anything but a uh let's look here a rain cloud will go ahead and pour rain while the cloud block the normal one it'll actually do nothing just look like a cloud you have blocks like the balloon ones that make you jump and you have normal blocks like the majority of them that serve for aesthetic not only that but different blocks require different uh pickaxe power so normal wood you know you could just mine with anything but then you have uh higher tier blocks that are much harder to mine and you need better equipment which is great for adventure maps and things like that for people creating 
Uh, you can also go ahead and use the power of levers and stuff to go ahead and open blocks, make them activatable or not. Again, this is just another feature that could bring more dimensions uh, towards that. But let's go ahead and go to my current world that I'm working on, which is my adventure world. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of the possibilities. Now, this is a more recent world. So you guys can go ahead and look. This is me terraforming. So terraforming exists in most sandbox games. You could go ahead and destroy structures and things of the sort. However, again, just because of the huge variety of blocks, the fact that you can activate certain blocks, uh, disactivate certain blocks, use most blocks uh, can also be made into wall uh, backgrounds, walls pretty much. Uh, you have wallpapers it's just so big that again i just want to highlight everything that you can make in this game and how little uh is the amount of people that actually appreciate terraria's building aspect i know a lot of people don't care much i know most of my friends really just want to kill bosses get the gear and stuff however me myself and i personally uh, really love terraria and the thing that keeps me playing this game is not actually bosses. I already beat the game multiple times, be it multiplayer, single player, expert, hardcore. Actually, I never beat it hardcore, but I did play <laughs> a couple of times hardcore trying to beat it. But building is the thing that makes me come back. Making new structures, always getting better, uh, always brings a smile to my face to see the beginning of the build towards the end. So it really makes me happy when I see that a lot of you are inspired by my work. Uh, a lot of you do enjoy it, even if you don't make it yourself. Uh, you guys give me these awesome suggestions. You guys also do try to copy what I build, try to improve my world. I have seen a couple of screenshots before of uh, work you guys have done and it really is breathtaking to see like how you used to build and then how you see somebody making something then you go ahead and change uh when i started building you know i would use the the normal things i would make square boxes and all of that uh, i would never mix wallpapers and backgrounds like i do now like here you guys can go ahead and see uh, what will be a little quest for my new world that I'm making for you guys to download eventually But I do nowadays use a lot of details mix up a lot of blocks to give it just that finishing touch that makes it look unique uh, Coming into this cave. It looks a lot funner a lot better a lot more inviting uh, Than just walking down here for example, which is just a normal background with nothing on it uh, It's things like this that really make a game for me and again, Terraria is just that game that has so much options and allows you to do so much with what they give you that it's really amazing. And I really do hope that more people get into this. Now, I do know there is one thing that Terraria is missing that I've been waiting for for the longest time. I was a bit sad on the new patch that this has not come out yet, but creative mode. Uh, so most people either have to download mods because sadly uh, actually getting materials to make a lot of stuff especially bigger builds which i could go ahead and show you guys something on another world so let's go to uh pretty much the world that i did my first let's build on so something in terraria that is very uh bad for those of us that enjoy building is the fact that you either have to have a mod to spawn in items or get items from another world uh sadly there's just not enough of certain materials that you want to use to go ahead and build with it so here you guys will see a huge base this is my new base for my main world that i'm going to be playing on uh making speed builds on so you guys can go ahead let me go ahead and show the map this is huge and I use a lot of copper in this, a lot of dynasty wood, a lot of materials in general. And there is no way that I or anybody else would just mine this much copper. Uh, there's stacks upon stacks of copper used here, be it for the backgrounds, for the blocks himself. And it's not even the block that I use the most because I did want to, you know, not have it completely orange. But looking at this build, you guys can go ahead and see uh, how hard it would actually be to mine uh, copper for this single build. So anybody that's doing builds like this or even bigger builds, which I know there are a lot of people who make builds much bigger than this, uh, it is a bit hard. So that's pretty much the only negative thing I could say about Terraria, and that is that 
it's hard to get some materials. I won't lie, if you're not working with the normal wood and stone, most other materials do take a lot more time. It is more challenging, uh, especially for normal worlds. I do know this because on my playthroughs, I do love making a starter house and I'm very limited to wood and stone. And even then in the beginning, it takes forever to mine, which is one of the big turnoffs. However, late game, you guys can go ahead and make a new main base which isn't as worthwhile as your first one but if that's not enough for you guys you could go ahead and make uh, an upgrade to your base pretty much so here you guys can go ahead and see a ton of mixtures of blocks different types uh, here you can see a player sensor again uh, this game has a lot of wiring and things that allow you to make like activatable doors on and off uh, lights turning on and off and things like that it's just the details the amount of stuff you could actually do like clicking this switch I could open this section or close it uh, and yeah there's just so much again open close by just clicking a switch which is very limited in other games like here I went ahead and made a mine and a bunch of little details and things like that so what I did want to talk about on this video was the building aspect. I did cover a lot. I know that there is a ton to talk about on Terraria, be it the blocks, the wallpapers. Uh, for example, here we have furniture. It's another one of those things that are huge. For example, you have the marble blocks, you have the marble furniture sets, you have the marble bricks. Uh, it's just almost endless the amount of things you could actually make. You want spooky, you want an evil theme, you could go ahead and use flesh, you could use spooky, you could use even stone, you could use obsidian. There's just so much things that you can indeed use for different types of build. So by no means should one build be like another. Not only that, but with each and every update, uh, Relogic always adds more things towards building and normally it's things that people don't really notice until later on or until they actually get into building. For example, a new crystal set came out and it's something that people, most people probably don't care about, I won't lie. It's very flashy, very purplish, but for example, on this new biome that I made here, it fits really well. There are also a couple of builds people have done that work awesome with this furniture. So imagine if you do want a purple house, completely shiny, colorful, you now have furniture for that house that works. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't think there's anything else in particular. If you guys have any questions uh, related to building, in fact, I'll go ahead and answer some of these. Uh, how long have I been building? I've been building pretty much for, I think three years it's been since I've been building in Terraria, or maybe not three years, two years and a couple of months, give or take. And this is where I'm at now. Normally, most people won't build as much as me since I do have a YouTube channel and I do use it as a hobby. I really find that building while watching a movie or just building uh, to kill some time, it's a great relaxing way to play the game. Nothing stressful, uh, it's just fun. You get the beginning result, you get the end result, you're just happy and satisfied with it. Uh, some people ask me how do I improve in building or how did I get this good at building and again I always tell them that practice makes perfect guys. Uh, normally you won't be able to build like this uh, incredibly early on. Hopefully you guys can. I mean that would be amazing if somebody does do this in their first hour or so playing Terraria. I would be very impressed and I'm not bragging. I do know that there are a lot of people that are better than me and I can still improve a ton of my builds which is why I continue building and which is why it's always fun to build. And let's see, another question that uh, I don't get a lot, but a couple of people do ask is, uh, how do I get out of squares or how can, without doing this many details or without having this much patience, because this is another point. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Building big builds, especially ones with a lot of details, take a lot of time. For those of you that don't know, this main base took me easily over 20 hours to make. So 20 hours of actual building. I'm not counting the editing for the videos or anything. It was just pure building. And that's a lot of time. And most people probably won't spend 20 hours on a build. So how can you improve your normal base or how can you make a base without wasting so much time, without so much details? And that's simple, guys. A lot of people 
uh, don't actually realize, but it doesn't take much to improve your base. Pretty much you have the option of using the hammer, or in my case I'm using the ham axe. So here you see this block, right? Let me go ahead and mine it out. Uh, this block without the hammer, or without the block in general, looks just like a square. By adding this block and then hammering it to make an angle so it's diagonal, it just gives another touch. Now the base looks a little bit rounder or this room looks a little bit rounder and it just feels different, you know, it feels better, feels like it has a little bit more details. You guys might want to try mixing up uh, some blocks. Don't use the same blocks throughout the entire house. It doesn't take much. You guys could use starter materials. A wood or stone works great. Here if not for the copper, this is just a wood and stone build pretty much and you can see how far I got with it. And again, even if you do want to use copper, copper is an early material. Feel free to use that. There are a ton of materials that you can mix and match with that go along. And even if it doesn't go along, you can go ahead and paint it just so that the texture is different. So that's another tip. Use the hammer. Don't be afraid to try materials. Mix and match. And lastly, the background. Guys, a lot of people just fill the background with one thing. Uh, but a simple way to improve a room, a house, add some beams, add some windows, add a little bit of de details on the background and that just improves the house a ton. So again guys, hopefully this has helped anybody with any of those questions. If you do have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section below. I think I've talked about pretty much everything that I wanted to with building. Again, hopefully with this, more people uh, appreciate what Terraria does offer you, what you can indeed do with builds and stuff. If you guys do like seeing builds, make sure to check out the Terraria forum. Uh, they have a creation compilation pretty much every month of amazing builds, builds by amateurs that you guys can go ahead and submit and be part of. It's always fun to look at what other people do with video screenshots or anything of the sort. So be sure to check that out. And as always guys, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time.